Moin Moin and welcome to Ralph's Photo Booth and Ralph's Photo Flight. As you can imagine, today the topic is again the DJI Inspire One. One of the big advantages of the Inspire One is that you can fly this copter with two remote controls. So one remote control is for the pilot and one remote control is for the video operator. And today I want to show you how you connect both remote controls and how you make the best settings um, for each remote control. Well, first of all, before we start, let's remove the propellers because um, if I'm here in my office and they start accidentally, I don't think it's a good idea, even if I have, as you can see, my handmade prop savers on the, here my nice prop savers on the copter, but I don't think it's a good idea, so let's remove the propellers. Talking about the propellers, in the next few days, the uh, prop locks should come. Um, I've flown the um, Inspire 1 in the last days several times without the prop locks. Everything worked fine. You have to take care that when you um, put the props on the, on the motors, that at the last point you give them a little kick so they are, um, sit, are, they are firmly connected with the motor and not only like turning it on and that's it. You have to give them a little kick and so I think that's absolutely okay. But um, DJI says um, don't fly without the prop lock so you have to wait some days if uh, you want to do so. First of all, this one, the left one is the master and the right one is the slave. So let's start with turning on the master remote control and when the master remote control is on then we turn on the Inspire 1. Okay, so here we are. Take some seconds. So then we have the picture hopefully. No signal. Where's my picture? Here we are. Here's my picture, so everything is set. Now we go to the point remote control here, and once we tap on the remote control, you see that we have the uh, RC status of master and slave. So we go to master, usually it's on master, then we have the name A00655 and we have the connection password 1234. If there's something in the slave list which you have not connected yet, you can delete this. This may be the uh, remote control from the factory. They, I think they tried if it worked. So um, they sh there can be um, an old one in this list if you want to delete it and I think it's better to delete it just swipe to the left and you see delete or löschen in German and then that's it it's gone. Okay so we are ready for the slave. Now we turn on the slave go also to the app here we are and one What's happened now, because both of them are connected at this time, you will see that the slave list says here is um, an, a connected remote control, a, a slave connected, that's mine. And I will show you how you connect both when they are not like now connected. Just go to the pilot app and again press the remote control button and then you have go in the RC status to the point slave. Here you see the name of the remote control and then press search for master control and that's it. Just press this button. It takes some seconds and then you hear a beep and at this point go up and you see master RC list and you see the remote control, the master remote control, in this case the A00655. That's your master. Now it's highlighted, usually it's not highlighted, it's a little bit um, um, more gray. Then you press 
on this point and the app says type in the uh, password then you type in 1234 says OK and on the master control on this side you will see a question do you want to connect you say yes and that's the point and you see when it worked up you see the blue dot here it's for for the stick it's a symbol for the stick and highlighted the um, slave control and you see the connection status here um, it says five bars so the connection status is perfect okay so both are connected what happens now when we are in the standard setting when we move the right stick downward the camera goes up when we move the right stick up the camera goes down when we use the left stick and turn it to the left side camera turns to the left and exactly the same turn to the right moving the stick to the right side so these are the default settings for me, I don't like when I move the stick down that the camera goes up. I want that the camera goes down when I move the stick down. And if you want this too, and if you want to have some more option, again, go to the point of the remote control here in your app, move a little bit more up, and then you have the RC control settings. There you go. And then you have the stick mode. Here we go again and you see we have the default settings here but we also have the custom setting and that's the one where we go now. We go now to the custom settings and in the custom settings you can set up the pitch up and down, the yaw left and right and you can set the roll clockwise and anti-clockwise so you can adjust the horizon also in this app you don't have to go to these uh, gimbal settings where you make the correction. You can, with this um, setting here, you can adjust the horizon and the roll. So, how do we set this? It's very easy. You want the pitch down on the left stick down, on the right stick down. Just take it and pull it here. You want the yaw right to this stick. Just take it and here we are. And you want the roll also on the left stick, not on the right. Then you take this one and put it to the top and here we are. So these are the settings for the sticks. I show you later how this works. But one more very important point, that's the gimbal speed. And in the gimbal speed you can pitch, you can set up pitch, roll and yaw individually. My suggestion is uh, pitch and yaw 50, so that's a good speed, not too fast, not too slow. And the roll uh, go on 30 or maybe 20 if you want to do it very, um, very precise, then you can set up 20. If you go to 10, it takes too long if you, uh, b before you see a change, so I think 30 is a good value. What happens when we have set up this? It works like this. Okay, here we go. Here is my right stick. When I move the right stick down, the camera turns down. When I move the right stick up, the camera turns up. When I move the left stick to the left side, camera makes a left turn. A little bit more down, so can you see it a little bit better? left turn and right turn. Now comes the horizon. So when we are, turn the camera directly towards you so you can see this a little bit better. Turn it a little bit more in this direction. Okay, so now we can change the horizon. Move the stick down and you see it goes very slowly but you can see that the camera makes a roll to one direction and now I move the stick up and the camera makes the roll to the other, to the other side. So with this option 
you can correct the role. So if you want to make a correction of the horizon, because the horizon is not leveled perfect, you can do this with the stick. And you have another point, if you want to make dynamic flights, um, flight straight forward and go into the curve and you want that the horizon also goes a little bit into the curve and so you make a dynamic flight, you can do this also with the roll stick, give him a little bit more speed and then you can make real dynamic flights where the horizon goes also into the curve and it looks like you're flying very fast. So this is the option um, on the slave to set up the sticks with pitch, yaw and roll. Another important point for me is, and I set this on both um, remote controls exactly in the same way, is we have on the back side the buttons C1 and C2 and on the C1 button I um, put the yaw reset. So if I get lost and I have turned the uh, gimbal around and I'm not quite sure um, which direction is front, I just press the C1 button and what happens you will see the camera immediately turns in the front position. So in the position of the copter in the front position and so I know exactly in which direction I fly and can exactly see this is front, this is my direction I fly. How you make up the setting? Very easy. Just again go here to this point to the uh, remote control setting and then back here out of the stick control and here we have just from the start, it's a little bit easier, here is the start picture and then we go to the RC settings and here is the point C1 and C2. So on C1 I make the reset gimbal yaw. So when I press the button the gimbal goes straight in front so I know exactly the direction and on the C2 um, I have for the camera operator advanced camera settings and on the uh, master I have the change between yaw and pitch for the dial on the back side. So when I fly alone I can change the gimbal settings for the back dial, for the left back dial between yaw and pitch. The camera settings you can make on both, on the master and the slave, so they have exactly the, the same rights. So um, the uh, video operator can start a video, stop a video, make a picture, make all the camera settings and also the master can do this so there's no difference. The important difference is that the slave, so the video operator, even if he want to change between the different settings here, between the different flight modes, he can do, but as you can see nothing happens here when the master operator does this, the copter pilot, you see we change to ATI and the IOC setting. So everything which concerns to the flight operation, the slave operator can't do this. This is only the thing what the master operator can do. If you um, want to fly back with only one remote control, no problem the uh, slave can switch off and that's it. You have the full control again back um, with everything. Again, also if there's the slave remote control on, you still have also the full, um, the full settings in your hand and even you can move the gimbal. You see when I um, turn the uh, dial here on the back side of the camera uh, of the remote control even if the um, the uh, slave is on I can move the camera up and down also with my wheel here on the master so I have the full control over everything and only the slave has the option to move the gimbal in the uh, three direction he also can move up the uh, landing gear so that's also the thing of the um, master operator. 
When we fly together, Ira and me, um, we use the uh, Cinemizer, uh, the Cinemizer uh, glasses. Um, she flies with the uh, video operator. She's the video operator and flies with the Cinemizers. They are connected to the HDMI eye output um, and they have these eye shields. Um, so she's um, really concentrated on the on the uh, video. Um, we talk to, uh, together and we say which fly we will make and how I fly and which direction I will fly. And so we are uh, talking together and make the, um, make the plans which um, video shot we want to take. And so she's very concentrated on taking the video. And I think that's, that's the best way you can do this. But again, you also you have different opportunities if you, um, if you are on, on uh, events. Um, the um, copter operator can stay a little bit more away and the uh, video operator is um, maybe close to a, to a video screen or stuff like this, which is connected to HDMI or um, at the fire department there are options if you want to um, check places from above. Um, the pilot is outside connected with the, with the uh, phone or something like this and the uh, video operator is inside the um, car where you have a screen and uh, can check the picture. So there are, very f uh, there are very interesting options with these um, two remote controls and for a copter of this price um, this is a real real nice feature because usually you get this um, only if you are uh, in a higher price range um, with the light bridge um, then, but then you have to buy two light bridges if you want uh, functions like this um, with two um, different places um, and so yes this is a real nice feature the master and slave combination for pilot and video operator. One point I didn't mention in the second part of explaining the uh, uh, pilot app that was the part of the photo and video function. One part I've missed. Um, I think I showed this in a small video um, on my video uh, Wikipedia but um, I will show you now. If you press the uh, shutter release button a little bit longer you will see that you get here some more options. You don't have only the single shot but you have the triple shot, five shot or oops, or seven shot or you have the uh, bracketing with three, th three shots or with five shots or you have the time shot. These are the options you have here and yes this also works when you are in the RAW mode, so it works um, not only in the JPEG mode um, but also in the RAW mode. Okay, if you want to go back just press here and that's it. So this was one point I've missed in my video about the video settings of the DJI Pilot app. Okay. So this is everything about the operation with two remote controls of the DJI Inspire 1. If you liked my video, give me a like here, subscribe to my channel. And yes, hopefully the weather gets a little bit better in the next days. So we can make the first flight with the Inspire 1. You know now everything about the apps, the copter, how to set up the copter and Yes, hopefully we can start to our first flight of the uh, DJI Inspire 1. So, thanks for watching me. Have fun during your flights and as always I say bye and moin moin.